All right, so now you wanna focus on muscle, but you still want to cut fat. And before you even focus on muscle, I'm gonna tell you that you need to lose whatever it is that you need to lose before you can really start to focus on muscle, if that makes sense. So if you need to lose weight, then focus on weight loss until the weight is gone. If you still need to cut more fat, which is going to be a counterpart to you losing weight, then focus on that. Like don't all of a sudden think that, you know, okay, I've lost a good amount of weight. Now it's time to me start bulking. I need to lift heavier weights. I need to eat more. Like your cycle is so dialed in right now to lose weight and to lose fat that you keep that train going. My recommendation to you is you get so lean, disgustingly lean, like you're just absolutely so ripped that you can give yourself a little bit of a break and you can start to eat whatever it is that you want. Maybe you can decrease your workout intensity, but until you get to that point, don't even mention the word that you wanna start building muscle, you need to eat more calories and you need to start lifting heavier weights. Because until you've lost the weight that your body needs or that you're comfortable with, and I'm not saying, okay, if your goal is to lose 10 pounds and you lose 10 pounds, lose 20. Like double that, okay? It's like your savings account, right? Instead of saying I need this much money to buy this thing, like double the amount of savings. And then this way you can play around with everything, you can make mistakes, because if you just lose the weight and fat that you want, and then all of a sudden you're trying these new things and you're bulking and lifting heavier weights and drinking creatine, and all of a sudden you put on all this fat and you feel disgusting, it's gonna be so hard to go the other way. Your body isn't a two-way train. Like, your body is driving down the highway and it starts at zero. And then you build up all this momentum by doing extra workouts, by taking the right fat burning supplements, by tracking your nutrition, hiring the right coaches that monitor you. And so that it goes this way and then all of a sudden it just keeps going. And you're gonna find, once you keep that momentum going, it gets easier and easier and easier and easier and easier. Then you wanna go and change your goal and now you wanna start focusing on putting on muscle and adding a few more pounds, but you're not quite there yet. It's like this and it's like it's like trying to stop a train it's going to take months and if you get impatient with it you're going to go from this and then all of a sudden you rebound and you go the other way and all of a sudden you're gaining a bunch of weight and fat so my recommendation for you is to first just focus on one thing do that one thing better than you've ever done it before over like double your goal like if your your goal is to lose 10 pounds and five percent of fat go 20 pounds and 15 percent fat then Let's talk about adding more weight and adding more muscle. Now, when it comes to maintaining and growing muscle, and if you work out with Fit Club, good news, as long as you don't put your membership on hold or you quit or you stop working out, no matter what, you are going to continue to maintain the muscle that you currently have, and you're gonna be putting on more muscle. You know why? Because I'm coaching you, all the other coaches are, are there with you, and the longer you stay, the bigger the relationship that we build, and we know what you're capable of, right? So if you come in day one, and you're side raising, and you're doing five pounds, we're like, okay, sure, maybe that's where they're at. But then we see you moving those five pounds, like, you know, super fast, and we're like, all right, we need to challenge you, let's try the eights. You grab the eights, you struggle. We leave you with the eights for two, four, six weeks until we feel good. And we're like, today you're going up to the 12s. And that's how you progressively add more muscle. It doesn't necessarily have to come from eating differently, taking different supplements. It could come from just the right coaches pushing you to lift the appropriate weight at the appropriate amount of reps. Now I'm not telling you that lifting heavier weights is going to equal instant muscle because muscle does take time. And remember, you are what you consistently do. So if you're consistently challenging yourself to lift heavier and heavier and heavier, and you're staying within that like proper rep range, which when you're working out with Fit Club is going to be between eight and 12 reps. That's your muscle building reps. So if you're getting eight minimum and you're getting about 12 reps, even up to max maybe 15, and you're actually fatigued all three rounds, then that's where you're gonna be really building that muscle. And there's no problems, the coaches are gonna be watching you, make sure that you're doing it right. So if you're gonna challenge yourself on your own, boom, that's gonna happen. So if you're working out with us, it's guaranteed that the muscle is gonna be maintained. If not, you're gonna be naturally putting it on, it's just gonna take a little bit of time. So the key to this video is that if you want to retain or gain new muscle while you're cutting fat, the simplest solution is make sure that you're doing workouts like we do at Fit Club 
and really I'm just talking to Fit Club members, so what I'm gonna tell you as a Fit Club member is that the coaches are gonna be watching you and they're gonna be seeing your abilities. Okay, they're gonna know if you're not pushing yourself heavy enough. And there's enough weight at the gym that you're gonna be able to retain. In fact, the more you do it, you're going to build new muscle, okay? Then, once we've cut the fat and the weight that we don't want, and we've doubled our goals back, then we can start talking about different supplementation, we can talk about different macros, different calories, but I think that a lot of people are still a long way away from that. So for now, if you wanna build that muscle, you have to do two things. Number one, the coaches will be watching you. Number two, you have to be pushing yourself at the gym. So every rep, don't stop early. If the bell goes in 30 seconds, don't do 28 seconds and stop. You do 31 seconds and then you start one second early. By even just not lifting heavier than you normally do, but just giving yourself a bigger amount of push. Remember, muscles just require overexertion, okay? It doesn't necessarily have to be extra resistance, but it requires overexertion. So if you're overexerting the muscle by adding a little bit more time or adding a little bit more intensity, or you can add more weight, all three elements are going to equal more muscle gain. And just like losing weight, like, we don't gain and lose 10 pounds overnight. Like we can try and gain five pounds and maybe if we eat a bunch of salt, drink a bunch of water, your body is just gonna flush that out over the next 24 hours. So it's not like you can just gain or lose five pounds. So to actually gain five to 10 pounds of muscle or to gain 1% and keep that 1% of muscle, we have to do this over a consistent amount of time. The research shows six to 8% if you are maintaining that level of intensity that I talked about. The coaches are pushing you, you're pushing yourself, you're adding extra resistance or you're overexerting yourself or adding more time. Those are the five ways that you're gonna be able to add more muscle, retain your muscle, and then also focusing on your calories that are helping you to cut fat and weight that you don't want and doubling back your goals. And at the same time, we're gonna continue to build that muscle.